Here's some context for you about the sexist culture of F1. The next few clips will all be comments made by current or past F1 drivers. We put that red dress again with that really... Okay. You've been practicing with that pit lane speed limiter. Yeah, I have. I've just been imagining it's your nipple. This is not just an issue of the past either. Just this year at the Austrian Grand Prix, countless females experienced harassment due to their gender, many of which took to Twitter to recount their experiences. One fan said, the behaviour has been disappointing. My expectations were low, but holy cow. Racist, homophobic slurs, catcalling, inappropriate talking and touching, the list goes on. Another said, a 50 plus man pinched me and then winked. Some boys were sitting above me in the grandstands and they were hitting my head with their feet and a man literally pissed next to me in a public area. Another fan on Reddit said in response to the Australian Grand Prix, this is so concerning to hear about. I went to my first F1 Grand Prix at Hungary last year and I was so shocked by the amount of sexism and harassment aimed towards both female spectators and also women working at the event. As someone who's been to many rugby, cricket, football matches over the years, I can safely say that I'd never experienced anything similar to that of Hungary. And I hate to say it, but the majority of this type of behaviour was coming from groups of extremely drunk Red Bull fans. These examples are just to name a few. So, how do us female fans persevere through this culture and remain interested despite? That's really what I hope to find out in this auto-ethnographic investigation.